morning now we studied about the first chapter of 9th standard the chapter is protectors or or, or bio protectors of biosphere uh, nature in our nature the present uh, atmosphere non living things adey uh, pola living things etc in our atmosphere the main content of the air is uh, nitrogen then oxygen Ox- how the oxygen level is maintained the oxygen level is maintained by the action of the plants mainly the green plants the green plants are having the capacity to produce their own food substance by using the inorganic constituents from their surroundings and that is called as the photosynthesis during the photosynthesis the food is produced and at the same time oxygen gas is evolved these are used for the respiration for plants and animals both release carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is used by the plants for photosynthesis how this sunlight and other contents are absorbed by the plants and that is by the pigments the pigments are mainly called as the chloroplast the chloroplast is the specialized structure it has a two layered membrane outer membrane and inner membrane double layered membrane inside to this there filled a fluid called as a stroma and the stroma possesses a number of plate like structures these are called as grana the grana are interconnected by lamella the chloroplast contains the chlorophyll that is a pigment the chlorophyll pigments are of mainly four types that is a chlorophyll a chlorophyll b carotene and xanthophyll <clears throat> these are responsible for the um uh, chloroplast uh, sorry uh, photosynthesis and uh, these pigments absorb sunlight all other uh, sunlight however only chlorophyll can participate directly in photosynthesis all other <coughs> pigments absorb light and transfer it to chlorophyll then how the photosynthesis occurs the photosynthesis is explained by uh, the scientist that is done in two steps the first one that is within grana in grana it works only in the presence of sunlight so it is called light phase during the light phase the water splits and oxygen is released the water splits up into hydrogen and oxygen the oxygen is released this hydrogen is for the second step light energy is converted into chemical energy and is stored in atp molecule the second step dark phase that is done within the stroma here the light is not present or light is not used the hydrogen formed during the light phase combines with the carbon dioxide to form the carbohydrate by using the atp formed during that first phase and as a result the glucose materials is formed that is stored within the leaves and other body plants for the further use then uh, here the energy currency is that is known as the atp that is adenosine triphosphate the energy uh, liberated during the breakdown of uh, atp into adp that is uh, adenosine di- triphosphate converted into adenosine diphosphate uh, and at that at that time energy is uh, released uh, during the photosynthesis uh, the six oxygen molecules combines with the six water molecules to form the uh, glucose and uh, and uh, release uh, release carbon dioxide then after the photosynthesis the photosynthesis is a conv- during the photosynthesis glucose is formed this glucose is converted into starch and then it is converted into sucrose and uh, this sucrose are consumed by the other uh organisms that is a metabolic activities in the phalamite that is a uh, converted into starch protein fat fructose sucrose etc 
in in certain other group of organisms, the the chlorophyll is is absent, but these are having the capacity to produce their own food. That is why certain chemical reactions without the presence of sunlight and that is called as chemosynthesis. They produce energy by breaking down of the chemical compounds. Then then we consider a pond or a lake or or ocean. Here we can meet uh, different types of uh, organic, uh, sorry, living substance and uh, non-living substances. The sun is the main source. Uh, the sunlight is uh, penetrates through the uh, water, and uh, at the bottom of this uh, lake, uh, ponds, uh, rivers, uh, ocean, etc., possess a numerous number of uh, uh, green plants. Uh, these absorb light uh, and uh, undergo a photosynthesis. These are uh, transported to the uh, organisms or the animals or the fishes that is uh, met in the uh, uh, met in water. This uh, consumed this uh, for the food, and uh, after to this, uh, the respiration takes place in their body and uh, release the carbon dioxide. This is a cyclic process, and by the proper activities of the respiration and the photosynthesis, uh, regularly maintains uh, the total number of or uh, total level of uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Uh, the maintenance of the proper sub, uh, or sufficient quantity of oxygen in the atmosphere is uh, done by the green plants uh, and their activities uh, photosynthesis, algae, phytoplankton, uh, and uh, uh, many other green plants uh, uh, makes a main role in maintaining the oxygen level of the body. Now, how the oxygen is uh, evolved during photosynthesis? We can demonstrate that is uh, by an experiment. That is uh, the, for that uh, we take uh, a beaker, a conical flask, sorry, a, um, a test tube, a beaker, a test tube, and uh, a funnel. Uh, within the funnel, we place the certain hydrilla plants. Hydrilla plants are the water plants. Uh, this is placed within the uh, funnel and uh, uh, placed within the beaker. The, the uh, uh, a tube of the funnel is covered with a test tube with a, with a full water. After to this, uh, we can see that uh, correct. Um, uh, after this, we can see that uh, certain gases are formed at the top of the test tube. When we analyze uh, these uh, gases, uh, these are oxygen. That is, uh, in presence of sunlight, uh, the water plant such as hydrilla uh, undergoes a photosynthesis and during photosynthesis, oxygen gas is uh, evolved. That is an experiment to prove the oxygen is evolved during photosynthesis. Then come to the forest. That is a mangrove forest. Mangrove forest uh, uh, help in controlling the tsunami to some extent. Bamboo forest, uh, retriever, lemon grasses, etc. protect the river banks and uh, from collapsing during the flood. Trees and bushes in mountain and hills uh, prevent the soil erosion and uh, landslide. The plants also maintain the total balance of the nature also or the ecological balance is maintained by the presence of for our uh, green plants. When we distract uh, the forest, uh, the uh, atmospheric temperature increases, uh, soil erosion increases, uh, that leads to the natural calamities. Uh, that is about the first topic.